Hello, what up? This is Maddie. We're back for round two here on Just for Fun with uh, Red Twin in Modern. Mono Red Twin. We're playing against Raphael FQ. What up, Raphael? Um, shout out to my friend Art. Uh, I showed him this deck and he told me I'm insane. So that made that made my, made my day. That really made my day when he said that. You know, uh, some of the some of the players are like, you know, the competitive guys. They like to play tournaments. They like to, you know, they'll only appreciate a deck that's viable, which is cool. I mean, I get it, but for me, I play the game to have fun, and part of having fun is being completely ridiculous. And this deck is really ridiculous, and it's putting a smile on my. You can see the smile on my face. Okay, mountain go. Opponent sees my mountain and passes back. Okay, we're on our way. We're hitting our land draws here. <laughs> right now, we're just counting to five, basically. Cranko's command. Okay, well, Pyroclasm is really good against Cranko's command, so. I'm probably not going to pull the trigger on that this turn. I'll take one hit from them. Tormenting voice. Do I want a tormenting voice? Uh, not really. Not really. We have our pieces here. Um, you know, if I redraw, if I draw a redundant spirit guide, you know, or something else. Shared animosity. Well, that's not nice. If I draw a mountain, I think I just play Zealous Conscripts. Don't need that shared golem, so I or that golem. So I guess here I pyroclasm. And I think I'm gonna tormenting voice stitching the golem. Okay. Two spirit guides. So if I don't hit my fifth land, well, I mean, I guess I don't need to hit my fifth land now. I can just play conscripts and play Kiki Jiki. Cranko is a very, very scary card. That guy just goes bonkers, especially with this animosity card. That's very scary. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go Conscripts. Oh, I can actually... I could just put a Goblin in play for me with Cranko. That's kind of kind of cool. Or I could just bash him for six. No, I think... Uh, I think getting a goblin is better than bashing for six. Still can't understand why this is not a default, as if it's ever irrelevant information, especially with the useless chat log that it it's just not a good way to follow the game and what's happening, whereas seeing what card goes in the graveyard is a much better way to keep track of what's being cast, and I don't know. That's my opinion. Your mileage may vary. Vexing Devil. Wow. Well, you can, you can have it. No, you can have it because... 
I could potentially just win here. I don't don't really see Vexing Devil in that deck. I mean, he should be playing just all tokens, you know, or uh, and bushwhackers and stuff like that. I don't know, but it's just for fun. It's kind of a random collection here. Just straight up attacking with Cranko. Trying to race me. All right, I'll take it. All right, that's a lot of mana to be up, so that's kind of scary. <laughs> but we have to go for it. I mean, that's the whole point of this deck. We go for it. Win or lose. Okay, so opponent doesn't know what's going on yet, or he wants to make us play it out. It stinks the way Moto works that, you know. There's no shortcut for this. Because you're yielding to a new... You can't just say always yield because every time it's creating a, a new token, you're yielding to the new token. So you have to either wait for opponent to concede or actually create enough guys to kill them, but... Looks like he's making us play it out. Which in a moto tournament I would do because, you know, your opponent runs the risk of timing out or whatever. But he's not even F6 either, which is annoying if if you're not gonna respond. What's going on here? Okay. The idea has been gotten, and we win! Now, I think our, our token strategy kind of matches up poorly against him, so... Uh, contrary to last match, I think I might just leave the deck as is. Um, which does make us more subject to sideboard hate. But based on what we saw, I mean, Pyroclasm and Anger looks really sweet against his game plan. So um, I think we're going to keep it as is for now. Um, and if we lose this game for game three, we'll board in the, the other plan just, just for shits and grins just to uh, see if we're wrong, you know. Okay, we have the combo. Shrink my giant shiny dome. Uh, we have the combo. We have a couple mana. We have a dismember for anything truly hairy like that Cranko. Goblin Gweed. Yes, uh, nothing we can do right this minute, but hopefully that draws us into some land. Oh, no, that's going to tell me what it reveals over there. So, Mountain! Yes, we drew the Mountain. Very nice. Oh, okay, that's right. It just kind of like goes in there.
Okay, so... Here, since we have eight cards, we can fairly safely looting. Okay, um... Battered Golem is nice here. I'm gonna discard... I kinda wanna discard Conscripts. Um, I'm gonna discard Mountain and Looting. Alright, and we'll pass back. I might have to cut this short if my fam gets home because they've been out all day and I miss them and I'd like to see them, but um, of course I want to keep playing for you guys too. Okay, I'm just gonna have six. What do we reveal? Bolt. Okay, well, Bolt is nice. It's a good way to get rid of Goblin Guide. Okay, and he missed. He does not have a second land, so this is good. I guess I could have waited till he attacked with it. That was probably loose, so my bad. I haven't played against Goblin Guide in a while. Sweet card, I should have never traded them away. I was like in a hurry to build a deck or something or whatever, but sweet, sweet card. I know people are gonna hate on me for saying this, but I still think Swift Sweer is better than Goblin Guide. So argue with me please in the comments about that, but I'll just you know, know I'm right. <laughs> Did I finish my pop? Yeah. Okay, another dismember. Not really the best against tokens. Yeah. Maybe I should have ditched that. Um, gonna play Batter Golem here. And if we rip a land or a spirit guide. Of which there are uh, almost 20 out of 47 uh, chance, then we we could just win on turn four. You know, a lot has to go right for that to happen, but it is a possibility. be nice if opponent taps out for something here, which he might. Oh, he might just bolt my guy too. Which is actually not the worst because uh, I didn't get two for one on the Splinter Twin. Okay, Clasm is nice. I think I'm going to voice ditching a dismember to try to hit a land drop here. Maybe that's greedy. Yep, and I got punished. Uh, but that's okay, we're still at 14. We got backup twin and backup conscripts, which is nice. Next turn, I can Faithless Looting if I want. Flashback Faithless Looting if I don't hit lands. Ditch the other dismember and try to get what we need that way. Okay, that's good for us. Makes our pyroclasm better. Ooh, and he forgot to attack too. Cool. And we hit a land. This is just getting better and better. Um, yeah, I think we Pyroclasm now. Take the, take the trade here. Pass back. Could get lucky and naturally draw a Mana Source. 
And if we don't, then we have flashback looting. Okay, there's another Krenko's command. It's fine. Bolt. Okay, that's something to ditch the looting. Uh, loot. Okay, maybe opponent is double queuing. Okay, um, definitely ditching dismember. And I don't think I'll need the third twin. Okay, but we still did not hit <sighs> our fifth land. That's okay, we, we still have another looting, a natural draw step, and a tormenting voice. So I'm debating between saving this bolt uh, for tormenting voice or killing something. I don't need to kill a token with it, that's for sure. Not not in the spot where I need to do that. But if he plays Krenko, then I would like to electrify it. I would like to zap it. Lightning is so badass. Okay, fourth mountain. Krenko. Okay. Now that doesn't have haste. I, I For some reason I felt like it had haste. Okay. Kill it now. Take two. Anger is good, um, in the meantime, I suppose. But, I still want to hit another land. Um, I could voice and ditch something, but kind of like having backs up, back up of these in case any of those are bolts, right? Or removal of some kind. Um, could flashback looting rather than discarding this, or I could just anger and pass, or I could just pass. I feel like it's between looting, flashback looting, or just pass. I think I'm going to flashback looting. Not exactly in any danger, but still. God, no land. Um, battered Golem is great, though, so I'm going to ditch. And just, just. A conscripts. And the Tormented Voice. And this way I have. Ah. Uh, Maybe I should have ditched Bolt, but because I have that anger. I mean, Bolt just saves me from a hasty threat, basically. Well, yeah, it saves me from having to tap out for anger. Okay, yeah, so that, for example, that needs to die right now, right this very second before anything else happens. So I'm glad I kept the bolt. Because like I could untap in anger or I could play golem and have a chance of winning. I think my life total is still safe enough.
And okay. Plasm is nice. Gonna just go for it here. Okay, he bolts that. Fair enough. Down to two cards in his hand. Hopefully he plays out more tokens or something else that I can plasm away. Shared animosity, okay. So that's gonna be a palpable hit. Okay, still waiting here. Oh, we hit our fifth land. But I can't really conscript here. So I think I just pyroclasm. Pass back. Force him to have another threat, right? Goblin Guide. See, I would have been dead, so it's a good thing I did that. What are we revealing? I still think Bushwhacker is just a better card than than Shared Animosity. Okay, so we're dead to a lot of things here. That one card left in hand, it's got to be a removal spell. What else would he be holding this whole time, right? Oh, Goblin Grenade. Okay, that'll do it. That'll do it. All right, so I'm going to, I don't know. I still think that my plan is, is bad against his, his plan. My backup plan is probably worse than my primary plan. He did not really have a lot of removal spells. And on the play, I have a better chance of just comboing off, but for the sake of enjoyment, I'm going to board out this combo. Get back in there. Fourth and third empty the warrens. Actually, this member is just really terrible. Although, I guess it's a one mana spell to generate storm count. It's probably better off in than out. <clears throat> okay, would I like to play first? Yes. Would I like to keep? Yes. Would I like to cast anything turn one? No. Need some rituals so we can just, I mean, but 
I mean, he's killing me pretty quick, but not quick enough that I can't hold off until I sculpt my hand a little bit here. Second looting. Okay, so dismember and hmm. Tormenting Void, ah, Spirit Guide and looting. Mountain and second voice. Okay. Voice. Discard bolt. Okay. Chieftain, okay. That's a good card. Uh, debating between bolting it or going for the anger, but I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna bolt it. Okay, so that's four, so I don't need any more lands, really. Just need a couple of rituals. Uh, I found empty, so that's sweet. I still have anger, so I can close them here. I could try to get more out of it, but I don't think I need to. So now I just want to draw some more draw a bunch of rituals or something would be sweet <laughs> or metamorphose chieftain okay no attack is weird alright it's looting And we'll ditch mountain, mountain, okay, so there's one ritual, okay, so this turn we're going to be angry. Uh, I could keep that mountain to loot away. Five, six, I don't have enough mana to... It would be really sweet to ritual anger empty. Um, I think I'm just gonna anger and pass. Um... So I have something else to loot away, or should I play that mountain? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pass.
still at 12 here. I can take my time a little bit. No play is very nice if that's the actual situation here. Yep. Wild guess. Take a wild guess. What I should do here. Um. I should wild guess, discard mountain. Draw perfectly. Okay, cast metamorphose for red, red. Cast ritual. Get really, really lucky. Cast ritual. Cast ritual. Empty the warrens. And make <laughs> make ten goblins. <laughs> oh man, that's not what you were expecting, was it, bud? Let's see if that's enough. Well, no play again is, is very good. Okay, Desperate Ritual. Still have another looting in the yard. That's something to remember. Swing in for 10 here. Bolts one, okay. Bolts another. Okay. Still in all right shape, I suppose. And we win! Ha <laughs> ha! Tricked him with the backup plan. Man, this is great. This deck is so much fun. I enjoy it. Please build this deck. Make have have a lot of fun by just juking people with the the, the left-right combo. Peace.